Is condensation a glitch in the matrix? Now, hear me out. Condensation, definition A, a chemical reaction involving union between molecules often with the elimination of a simple molecule such as water to form a new, more complex compound of often greater molecular weight. Or the conversion of a substance such as water from the vapor state to a denser liquid or solid state usually initiated by a reduction in temperature of the vapor. Okay, excuse the green stuff, that's just chlorophyll, but I got water in the cup, right? But I know it's condensation, but then I got water outside the cup, but no water, the, the level of the water in the cup is not dropping. However, it creates more water outside of the cup. Now, I'm pondering, does the amount of condensation that occurs depend on the amount of salt that's present in the water? You see, you can see what happens when the Atlantic Ocean meets the Pacific Ocean, when salt water meets fresh water. And in a recent video, I played you a clip from when this deep water diver showed you that there was this underwater firmament that was dense with salt and that whenever they tried to descend into the water, the lake underneath the water, they just bounced off of it. This comes from HSTI. When you put salt in water, the water molecules pull the sodium and chlorine ions apart so they are floating freely, increasing the conductivity. These ions are what carry electricity through the water with an electric current. In short, salt water, water plus sodium chloride, can help produce electricity. Now, I'm willing to bet here that you would not have lightning if you did not have oceans. And I believe that most volcanoes, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe most volcanoes are surrounded by a body of water, which is why electricity comes from volcanoes. Well, it's not the only reason electricity comes from volcanoes, but part of the reason. You see, the simulation simply would not work with out salt water as a conductor but i'm believing here that you can use water as a doorway to a parallel dimension or parallel universe if you knew how to program water and i believe that condensation is an example of how water can be used to pass through hard surfaces without any of the volume of the water decreasing from the origin of the transfer this is from the science focus website how much salt is in a human body the percentage of salt in our bodies is very close to that of the ocean so just how salty does that make us the human body contains many salts of which sodium chloride aka common table salt is the major one making up around 0.4 percent of the body's weight at a concentration pretty well equivalent to that in seawater okay so we spoke before about water being an intelligent liquid a sentient being these are water crystals that form based on the information that you give the water. Water responds to information, which is exactly the reason why in one of my last videos I showed you that water is now being used in new computers. Water can store information, water can transfer information, water can compute information. So with condensation, is water matching the frequency of the hard surface that it contacts, allowing it to pass through the surface? Because you can put ice in a bucket, right? And as the ice starts to melt, you're gonna get new water forming outside of the bucket, right? Like a ring of water outside the bucket. However, the level of water inside of the bucket is not going to diminish due to the condensation of anything it will be evaporation so how does water provide new water without losing any of its original volume so not only is it computing information but it's like adding a new copy of itself now with that information here's a quick side note let's say that you have alkaline water at a ph of nine now if condensation happens which it will the water that forms outside of the hard surface, the cup, 
will it contain the same level of alkalinity or will the pH level decrease due to the contents of the surface it passes through? 